I pulled up at a Target. Why would you do that? <laughs> they look so bad. That's just how I'm feeling today. I have zero brain cells at four dollar Starbucks drink. Let me put y'all on real quick. Fresh mozzarella, pepperoni. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm not living a soft girl life. No time soon. welcome or welcome back to a video on my channel it is a cozy slow sunday morning it's not even morning anymore it's literally 1 40 p.m oh my goodness the day is just going by so fast why is it always the weekends that go by the fastest this morning my dad came and picked up noel bright and early so i've just been laying around and having a slow start to the day. I started writing in my new planner. I read a few pages of my book. I finished up editing, well, doing the rough cut for a video that I'm gonna post hopefully tomorrow. Ate some breakfast, drank my coffee, did my skincare and all of my morning hygiene things. I edited and posted a TikTok. So yeah, I've done quite a few things this morning, but from my bed, I'm just now really getting up out of the bed. I just made it up so that I'm not tempted to get in there for the rest of the day. I also started my weekly reset. The laundry I started this morning should be done and the dishwasher should be done running. I have a few more things that I wanted to get done today, like get a pedicure because I'm in dire need of a pedicure. If y'all saw my feet, they look so bad and if you know me for real you know that my toes are always done one thing i don't play about is my toes being done i can go without my nails but my toes so i was getting gel polish on my toes consistently for years now and it made my toenails weak and brittle and my big toenails basically just one day broke off literally within the same week they both broke off so it's going on about two months now probably since I've had any polish on my toenails. I've just been trying to give them a break and let them harden and thicken back up. They're honestly not quite healthy yet, but my birthday is in three days. I need my toes done. I also really need to clean my car out today. My car is filthy, disgusting. I got a detail like three weeks ago and it's already looking like I haven't had a detail in six months. I swear, having a toddler, your car will never, never stay clean. I need to do a few CVS pickups and then pretty much just going with the flow for the rest of the day. I was contemplating on going to the gym this morning and on going to Trader Joe's, but it sounds bad to say. I honestly been having some guilt about this, but Lately, I've been feeling like the gym is not a place that I want to be. I've lost all motivation to go to the gym. However, I do still want to get physical activity and move my body, but just going to the gym just feels like it takes so much effort and time to fit in time <laughs> to go to the gym. I hope that made sense. I feel like it didn't really make sense. A lot of you already know that I'm a busy single mom and content creator that works a full-time nine to five job. I started off on my fitness journey really strong the first half of the year. 
I'm just now starting to fall off, which I'm not proud to say, and I kind of have some guilt about that. But what I would usually do is after work, head straight to the gym and I'd bring her with me because they have like a little kids club. I would work out until about 7, 7.30, go home, make a quick dinner or either pick something up on the way home and then do our whole nighttime routine and stuff. But I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's been working out that way lately. With motherhood and a growing toddler, things change, seasons change. I just have to keep adapting to the changes. And lately I've been wanting to change our sleeping habits. So I like to try to get her to bed by 8, 8.30ish. And then I like to be asleep by 9.30. 10 o'clock the latest so it's like when i'm going to the gym right after work and not leaving until about 7 7 30 and still having to do dinner wind down bath time it just it doesn't seem like i have enough time for that it just feels too pressed for time to go to the gym during the week and when i don't go to the gym at all during the week it's hard to find the motivation to go on the weekends so I don't know, I'm in kind of like a weird place of trying to figure out how I'm going to stay active and get my exercise and physical activity in. I saw that move, move by Nicole, move with Nicole. Yeah, I think it's move with Nicole, was a good at home Pilates instructor on YouTube. But I actually watched one of her videos this morning and it seems pretty like simple and straightforward. You don't even need any equipment. I do wanna try one of her workouts. And also I follow a girl on Instagram, Pilates Body by Raven. I wanna look at some of her workouts on YouTube as well and see if that's something I'd be interested in. So yeah, and our neighborhood also has a gym, a very, very much smaller <laughs> version of the gym. So like I can still do 12, 3.30 and stuff cause I like that workout. I don't know, we'll see, we'll figure that out. If you have any recommendations for like YouTube fitness videos or fitness apps for at-home Pilates or workouts that will actually make a difference in your body, please let me know. Please leave your recommendations down below. I need to go ahead and get the day started. I think my first stop is gonna be the car wash. I was wanting to grocery shop today, but I shop at Trader Joe's for the most part. And I don't know if I wanna be in that Sunday rush. On Sundays, Trader Joe's is packed all day. I feel like if I want to go to Trader Joe's on a weekend period and don't want it to be like super crowded and busy, I need to go first thing in the morning when they first open. Because I've also found that when I go to Trader Joe's like midday on a weekend, they're usually out of stuff. They're usually out of my favorites and haven't restocked the shelves yet. So I either need to go super early in the morning first thing when they open or around 7 to 8 eight to nine in the last two hours before closing. I need to go ahead and get my day started though. I just had my lunch. I reheated some leftover Berea. <laughs> I know I sound so American when I say that. But I got some of the beef burrito from Trader Joe's and that was my first time having it. It was so good. I genuinely was not expecting it to be that good. It's just the beef and the sauce though. If you want like the cilantro and the chopped onions, you have to put that yourself. I was too lazy to chop up some onions and I don't have parsley. So I just had the beef and the sauce over some multigrain rice. I didn't show y'all because it didn't look appetizing, not even the least bit, but it was good, believe me. I changed my little straw topper to the blue cloud. I got a gift in the mail from Kiss that I wanna open really quick before I get dressed and stuff. Y'all wanna open it with me? We got some goodies. They sent some press-on nails. These are cute, but honestly not really my cup of tea. Y'all know I don't really do like long nails and these are long and square <laughs> i'm an almond girly but these okay all right i can do these glazed donut i've never seen these in the stores before and 
This is stuff that you can find at Dollar General. Everything in this box you should be able to find at Dollar General. I have never seen these in the store. I usually go and shop for my press-ons at CVS, but if Dollar General has nails like these, I'm gonna need to go check out Dollar General. I can do these. I love, 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 love. I think I was saying it in my last vlog. I love chrome almond nails. That's my favorite type of set to get. So these are super cute. And then we have some more glazed donut. These are so cute too. We got some lash glue, some strip lashes, another pair of strip lashes, some more press-ons. These are so long, <laughs> super long. I need to find somebody to get these to. And then a cluster lash or extensions collection diy faux mink extensions kit now this i could actually use and it comes with the adhesive and some tweezers i really needed some tweezers it's crazy how fast something can happen and change your whole entire mood I made an iced coffee. I had hot coffee this morning and I just want my daily dose of iced coffee. Someone asked me on my story, I guess because I always post coffee, how many coffees do you drink a day? And I only have usually every day one cup, but sometimes I'll have two. I never have more than two. I know it seems like I drink so much coffee, but I never have more than two cups a day. Coffee just makes me happy and it's just like... A pick me up it just makes my day better i don't even need it for the caffeine i'm not addicted to caffeine speaking of i need to order some nespresso pods i'm gonna order just dolce this time i've been trying to mix it up so that i can try all of the nespresso pods but dolce is just gonna come out on top every single time i'm drinking an ice leggero pod right now and it's definitely not hitting like my usual dolce i need to look at the weather because I haven't been outside. 64, that's kind of chilly. So I guess we're wearing pants and long sleeves today. just pulled up to my dad's house got my car wash and honestly i feel like that car wash was a scam because i don't even feel like it did anything i haven't seen my car but i was in there for literally like two minutes granted i got the basic car wash but still that thin layer of soap that went on my car I doubt it really got it clean. But I feel like the car wash never really gets your car that clean. I was going to vacuum out my car there, but I was just ready to get to my dad's house. So I'm going to vacuum it here. And my tire pressure is low. So we need to fix that too. I'm not in a funk. I wouldn't say I'm in a funk, but I'm just in a mood. You know how I mentioned it's crazy how fast something can happen and change your whole entire mood? Yeah. I'm just in one of those moods today i'm not really feeling the vibes i'm not sad i'm not in a funk or anything like that it's like a scream my favorite throwback tink songs to the lop to the lop to the top of my lungs kind of day and i brought my airpod max with me for that reason i just want to blast my favorite throwbacks and just vibe out in my own world i've decided that i'm gonna take it super easy today probably won't make it to the grocery store or anything i may do a little bit of cleaning when i get back but other than that i'm just gonna chill out i just want to be around family and enjoy the weather and the outdoors and just relax so yeah that's just how i'm feeling today Think I met a real worry size And I know that he loved me <laughs> Cause I give him what the streets can't We're gonna have some Call from mommy Answer it
I've been working all day. I like to run the streets in the dark out and come home, put your back out. I hope that it's okay. I can't leave you alone. No, no. About us, real as they come. Or you would rather be on them drugs. I would rather hang with my dogs. Fuck when you been draining me out. You know that. You know that. Well, when I throw that. I just realized that I've been listening to brown noise the whole 15 minutes that I've been driving. I thought it was like the air conditioner, but no. It's literally brown noise sleep music that I play for Noel on my phone. <clears throat> Y'all know one of my biggest, well not biggest, that's an exaggeration, pet peeves when it comes to driving is when you put an address on maps and it brings you to a location that's inside of a store. For example, like the most common thing that happens to me with is Starbucks. I'll Google a Starbucks or type in Starbucks on Apple Maps and it'll take me to a Starbucks that's inside of like a Target or a Harris Teeter. I can't stand that. And I just experienced that for the first time with CVS. I put in CVS and it said that there was one close to my job. I pulled up at a Target. At a CVS pharmacy inside of a Target that pissed me off one because i'm on my lunch i don't have time to waste and two just why would you do that so i'm at the cvs need to pick up some hygiene products i'm hygiene shopping here again this time i'm more so getting my boyfriend a few things i just i'm starting to feel overwhelmed a little bit just a little bit because i feel like i have so much to do and very little time to do it. My birthday is in two days. Two days, that's crazy. And I didn't make it to get a pedicure yesterday because I just didn't feel like it. Y'all know I was feeling a little, feeling a little off. So I just wanted to hang around family and relax all day. I'm kind of on the same, like hanging out with family vibes today too. I just, I just need some family time. It just puts me in a better mood and puts me in high spirits. After work today for dinner, we're gonna do homemade pizzas with my mom and sister and make some holiday cookies. Um, what else do we have to do? So it's Monday, I already mentioned it, but I'm on my work lunch break. I didn't even order the dress that I was gonna wear to dinner. <laughs> oh, I'm f I am SOS. Or is it SOL? I am SOL. I don't have any outfits. I didn't order anything. I will worry about that later. I need to get some bundles from the hair store. I think I'm gonna do that like on the way home from work today because. I don't got time to worry about it tomorrow. And tomorrow, I want to try to get a pedicure when I get off of work, like as soon as I get off work. I'm going to bring my birthday in with the girls. And then on my actual birthday, which is Wednesday, I have a few appointments to go to and some things that I want to do. It's going to be a pretty chill day for the most part. Y'all know I'm going to be vlogging. How far is a Starbucks? I did not have coffee this morning. Not that I need it. I just want it just craving it because i have it every day so i feel like i need it it's a part of my morning routine but i'm actually feeling pretty good one thing i notice is that when i do drink my coffee early in the morning i kind of get the jitters and i move around a lot and stay on my feet a lot but i just been really mellow slow paced go with the flow this morning and I like that. The closest Starbucks is inside of a Target. Why? Why is everything inside of Target? Key's mom made some Philly cheesesteak egg rolls last night and some chicken empanadas and turkey empanadas. These things are so good, <laughs> y'all. Like, I don't know why. Why did, why did a piece of turkey just fall down my sleeve? Come on. I'm spilling turkey everywhere. Mmm. Matches. I keep forgetting matches. I don't know if CBS is going to sell matches though, but... 
I bought these cute match holders from Amazon and they have like the little strike sticker on the bottom. So cute and aesthetic. But they didn't come with matches. And that's why they were so cheap compared to all the other ones. They didn't come with any matches. So I gotta go find matches somewhere. As soon as I walk in, they have the good stuff. They have a lot of these deodorant scents that I've never even heard of before. CVS has the same glazed donut nails that I got in that PR package yesterday and a bunch of other fun ones. <laughs> Kiss is doing a thing with the press-ons, okay? I need that off before lip balm because my lips are just so dry. I don't know how I ended up losing every lip balm that I had. I lost my Summer Fridays. I don't currently know where my Laneige, Laneige one is. I think it's in my belt bag. But other than that, I just have like a Bath and Body Works one that I've had for literal freaking three years. I need to throw it away. But I need something good and that's going to work. I really want to try either Dior lip oil and I said I was never going to buy a $40 lip oil but I really want to try it that might be like one of my birthday treats or the Gisu honey infused lip oil I really 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 want that one those aren't lip oils that I would want to be applying like all throughout the day at work though so this is really good for that purpose to be using at work and stuff <laughs> I forgot to stop at the speaker I just kept going Hi. Hi. I had a mobile order. Sorry, I forgot to stop at the speaker. You're good. What was the name? <laughs> Lauren. Thank you. Can I have a straw, please? Thank you. Here, Noah. Accurate representation of the day I just had. When I first leave work, I always feel like I have zero brain cells and like I just need to recharge and this is what's gonna do it for me today quick recharge with my four dollar Starbucks drink let me put y'all on real quick order this and thank me later because it's actually so good and you can replace toffee nut with any syrup you like if you don't like toffee nut but sometimes when I want a cheap drink when I want to order Starbucks on a budget I get an iced dopio espresso with an extra splash of cream, five pumps of toffee nut, and extra ice in a grande cup. The total came out to be 406. This drink is so good. I just needed my quick fix of toffee nut, honestly. I could have made my latte at home, but the syrup I have at home just doesn't hit the same. Mm. When I pulled straight up to the speaker, not the speaker, but the uh, window. I know that man was looking at me like, girl, what are you doing? I didn't even have a bad day. It was just busy, but more so productive busy. Sauce. I think you're done. Yeah. No, you got enough cheese. You That's enough. Oh. I want macaroni. Pepperonis, baby. Pepperoni. Why is she calling it macaroni? Put it down. Put it down? Okay. Okay. You want to put it down? You gonna do your mozzarella cheese? Let me see no more. Yeah. I don't want all these pepperonis up here. This is mine. No, I did it. There are seven continents on the planet. Can you in the 
works. Oh, that cheese oh, yeah. ball. While I'm waiting on our pizzas to finish, I have a package that I've been excited to come home to all day. I really need some box cutters because, <laughs> girl. I actually have on a Dream 424 hoodie right now that I've been wearing all day. I wear it all day yesterday too. It's just so comfortable, so cozy. The inside is like fleece lined. It feels really good. So they just launched their fall collection, which is mocha color and berry color lounge sets. I already have a bubblegum pink one that I love. I have the legging shorts in the tank. So I ordered the berry tank and berry shorts, I believe. I believe she also sent me some freebies for PR. I don't know what it is though, so Mommy. let's see. Yes, babe? Ooh, it's a card. We love a card. Thank you so much for always supporting. Yes. You've been killing those sponsorships. Love to see it. I hope you love these sets. That is so sweet. Literally the sweetest thing ever. A Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Some candy. This is what I ordered. I love this color. It's like a fuchsia, magenta y kind of pink. Some cute little shorts. This time I got the short sleeve tee, not the tank, the short sleeve tee. That is so cute. Ooh, she sent me the long sleeve mocha. I got the long sleeve mocha top and the leggings. I, y'all know this is definitely my vibe. I love this color. I love this so much. I just really love small businesses that go the extra mile and really care about their customers. Not only with PR boxes, but I've seen Gabby on TikTok packing up her orders and including freebies for paying customers as well. I just love businesses, small businesses that put a little personal touch. The handwritten note just means everything. The Starbucks card means everything. She puts so much effort into her brand. I just, I love to see it. So y'all go check out Dream424 and use my code at checkout. Oh, these look so good. So this is my half. This is my mom's half. On mine, I have onion, fresh mozzarella, pepperoni. I put some red pepper flakes. I think that's it. Oh, and some garlic. Oh, I don't mind. Mine doesn't have the cheese pool. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just took the best shower ever. I say that all the time, but I just took a really good shower with my new coconut vanilla. Also, I say method native soap, and I forgot how good that smells. It's like a very subtle coconut scent but it just smells and feels so good it makes you feel so fresh and clean it honestly it pairs well with so many different suits i just i'm loving it i have to put lip stuff on before i do my skincare and when i get out of the shower my skin just feels so dry and tight is that normal or do i have like dry skin or something i'm actually breaking out kind of bad worse than i have in a while It's a little extra red and inflamed because I picked it right before I got in the shower. It was white, it was ready, and it gotta go. One thing about me, I'ma pop that pimple. I just did my oral care, brushed my teeth and everything, and I am just dying to try one of these Listerine strips because it's been so long since I used it. I kind of forgot what it tastes and feel like, so. I'm about to try one. I just remember them being like little paper sheets and they're still the same. This looks like the transparent sticky notes that I use at work. Oh my God, it stuck to the roof of my mouth. Oh my God, it stuck to my teeth. It melted already. 
a kick to it. <coughs> My breath feels icy. I feel squeaky, squeaky clean. Like, I feel so good and clean and just fresh. I don't know what's going on with my skin and I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm gonna use these Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peel Pads. I use these when my skin needs like a reset. I don't use it every day because although it says it's gentle enough for daily use, I feel like it can be really drying. I've used it like two or three days in a row at a time and that's enough for me. I really like them though. They remind me of like, Nagazima pads. I want to try adding a toner to my skincare. I really wanted to try the K Beauty Annual Heart Leaf 77% toner, but I don't know. I really need to do my research on what products would be good for my skin. I get like hormonal acne and cystic acne. Like I have a raging bump right here. You can't really see it because it's hiding in the crevice increase of my nose but it's one of those bumps that are really red and like under the skin and painful it did have a white head so i did pop it but it's still like a painful cystic type of bump and so is this one and one right here and the rest in this area it's just like extra bumps and small pimples i don't know y'all i don't know what's going on with my skin Maybe I need to see a dermatologist again. I don't know if I've mentioned or on my channel that I have gone through one course of Accutane and I'm hitting the two year mark. Actually, I hit the two year mark in August and I've heard or read people say that usually around the two year mark, if your acne is gonna come back, it'll usually come back by then. And I'm just hoping and praying and wishing on a star that my acne does not come back because I've been through one hell of a journey with my skin. When I was hitting puberty, acne hit hard, okay? And I struggled with it all the way up until college. I'd say by my sophomore year, I got my acne manageable and under control. And I did so by taking oral medications. I was on like doxycycline i think that's the only oral medication i had taken before accutane i tried a number of topicals like epiduo i don't know girl too many to remember and then once i finally had my skin clearing up and looking good boom i got pregnant and that's when shit hit the fan literally my pregnancy acne was so bad and that's why you rarely see photos of me when i was pregnant because i just wasn't confident. I hated the way my skin looked. It was just so bad. It was so bad. I bought my camera when I was pregnant, but the reason I didn't start filming is because of my acne and feeling self-conscious about my acne. So when I gave birth, my skin calmed down a lot, but it obviously wasn't clearing up to its full potential because I was still breastfeeding. So I breastfed for about three months before I stopped and got on Accutane, I just, I needed to feel like myself again. Postpartum was already a lot. I was going through other body changes and then on top of that, I had terrible acne. Like, it just wasn't good for my mental health, for my self-esteem. And to this day, I still feel like Accutane was the best thing that I did for my skin. Like, my skin looks so good compared to what it used to be. It's been such a huge confidence boost. Having clear skin just makes me feel so much better. And granted, my skin is not clear right now. I obviously still have dark marks, which you can't really see that well on the camera because of the smoothing effect. But And I have texture issues, so my skin's not like 100% clear. But not having severe acne makes the world of a difference in my confidence and my self-esteem. And now I'm at a point in life where if my acne came back, I would be sad. I hope and pray that my acne doesn't come back. But I'm at a point in life where I just accept me for who I am. Flaws and all, acne does not define you. There are so many other women adult women going through the same struggles with acne in their skin. 
and trust me i'm among those women okay i know how you feel and you're not alone we're not alone thank you to my dermatologist and oral medication i just got my cystic acne under control but i've been through the struggle of severe hormonal acne before i really want to consult with like a holistic person that specializes in skincare because I know that like you heal your skin internally and I don't really know where to begin with that. That would be like a whole journey that I would have to start. I don't know girl, just taking it day by day. I kind of want to start using mandelic acid again, but I'm just scared. I'm scared to use new products that could potentially break out my skin. Yeah, I don't know. Just taking it day by day, seeing what works and what doesn't. But I do know that I do want to, whatever products I end up incorporating, I want to keep a simple skincare regimen because I believe that less is more. So like right now I'm only using an oil cleanser, salicylic acid cleanser, niacinamide serum in the morning, glycolic serum in the evening, moisturizer and SPF. Oh yeah, and I do use the snail mucin. That seems like a lot, but I swear my skincare routine feels so simple. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've just been loving pink lately. I'm a vanilla girl, a sad beige girl, a neutral minimalist girl to the day I die. But I've actually been liking pink. I'm loving it. I really think I'm about to enter like my feminine girly era. When I think of those words, I want to say soft girl era so bad, but truthfully, I'm not living a soft girl life no time soon or will I? I don't know. What do y'all define as soft girl life? What do y'all think a soft girl life is? When I think of soft girl life, I think of stay at home mom, Pilates girl, women that don't have to go to a real nine to five job. Maybe my idea of it is wrong though. What is a soft girl to you? I'm in an Amazon registry and most things on there are pink. My birthday registry, I have this headband in pink like three pair of pink pajamas a pair of pink slippers a pink lunchbox which one of my supporters and friends Jayla bought for me which was literally the best surprise and sweetest thing ever the pink Sol de Janeiro a pink iPad case a pink candle just a whole lot of pink stuff I'm really feeling pink but yeah anyway it's 9 15 it's getting pretty late it's time for noelle to lay down and go to sleep and i need to do some editing i'm really trying to get this video up by tomorrow because i know i won't be able to do it wednesday my intention was to do it today but i've just been doing a lot of running around so i'll get to it when i get to it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one